What's up? How are you guys today? Some of you may have noticed the change in decor and a few unfortunate circumstances have led to me basically having to find an apartment within several days and move all my stuff out. And, you know, that combined with the lawsuits, the legal stuff, me getting, you know, kicked out of my warehouse for my business. It's just more work on top of more work on top of more work. So I'm still trying to keep up with everything, guys, answer all your emails related to the businesses. I need to get back on some sort of track for the YouTube schedule because really it seems like almost everyone is against me at this point. But I'm here to show you guys how I am still attempting to stay healthy uh, despite everything going on. And it's been difficult because I haven't had a kitchen, haven't had my food. Uh, so today is Wednesday. On Monday and Tuesday, I actually did, uh, like I didn't eat all day and I went down to some restaurants in the city and I just didn't feel well. Uh, the first time the food was actually decent quality, I just had a little too much scotch. And uh, the second day, I um, went to a restaurant and the food wasn't that great. You know, the rice was made with a lot of fluoride and stuff. So I'm just trying to get back into like the quality, organic, good water and, and just feeling better. So we have the fire roast prime rib from Frankie Strange Meat on an organic baguette that I get from, uh, it's a bakery, meal few. They make organic. I'm sure the water is not high quality, but we've spoken about that before. That's a big source of starch and protein. I have two organic Fuji apples that I uh, chopped up. We have the potato chips, which will be delivered either this week or early next week on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Uh, we sold a few dozen bags of this already, but this is basically organic potatoes, organic coconut oil, a little bit of salt, nothing else, highest quality chips that will ever exist on the market, although I'm sure someone else is gonna come out with them in about two weeks after I start selling them. Uh, we have some pineapple water kefir here. We have some water kefir grains, some of the dessert cookie bars, which we'll talk about later. And I have my mastic gum. Now, I would have probably been fine on Monday and yesterday if I was taking the mastic gum and some water kefir, but I didn't. I just like went down to the restaurants, ate whatever I want, drank whatever I wanted. You know, the, the mastic would have probably been enough to prevent it and the water kefir would have helped a lot as well. But I haven't eaten all day today. It's uh, already... Uh, getting close to dinner time, so. So for those of you that tried the first batch of chips, these are excellent, but uh, the new ones are gonna be even better. We're switching the type of potato and uh, changing the cooking time and temperature. So I guess I should explain each individual component and why I'm consuming it. So the bread, the starch, is going to kind of soak toxins from the liver, feed the gut bacteria, it tastes good, it's calorically dense so I can help kind of maintain my weight. The red meat, you guys know, we've covered it basically in almost every video on this YouTube channel. Lean grass-fed beef tends to be the healthiest option that really most people have access to. Once you start deviating to other sources of meat, there's so many issues with it. Thankfully on Frankie's Range Meat, we do have high quality pork, chicken, and beef and eggs. But normally speaking, like if you go into a supermarket, even with all those high quality options, beef is almost always the safest bet from an allergen perspective, from the B vitamins, the protein, and taste too. So that's why I really like the beef is the choice there. The potato chips, maybe a little more fat than I like because they're fried, but the amount of copper, potassium, electrolytes, and minerals, and potatoes it is really the main reason I'm having uh, these with this meal. And because they're not fried in vegetable seed oils, I can eat these just fine without feeling like I'm going to die. Because you, any bag of potatoes just from the store, you're going to feel like crap afterwards because of the oxidized vegetable oils they use in them. But these really help you know, me prevent getting migraine headaches because of my liver damage, I'm sensitive to Wi-Fi. I think the electrolyte content really plays a big role here. So you have similar starch profiles between the bread and the potatoes, although they're pretty different. And then the apples cover the rest of the sugar profile. So your body can only produce so much of each enzyme and can only digest so much of each thing. The sugar is adding another carbohydrate component that your body can then utilize 
uh, to digest. And it's high water, high volume, high gut motility. The vegan cookies are just really, really dense. Calories, coconut milk based, white flour based, white sugar. So the banana rice crisp bars, in some case I'll have those instead or if I'm really hungry, I'll have this. But because these are high in sugar, which the water kefir eats, it's kind of an extra gut bacteria thing, but honestly, this meal could really do without these. Uh, Masticum keeps food out of the stomach and, and gets digestion moving. And of course, we have our water kefir grains and our water kefir, two most powerful and effective probiotics uh, that you can really have. I got the pineapple today. It's not too carbonated because um, I haven't had the bottle sealed for a day or two, but it should still taste pretty good. We'll take maybe a tablespoon of the water key for grains. And although I've gone over it before, I need to say it more often, a lot of you guys are really, really against carbohydrates and sugar, but in the context of liver damage and taking digestive stress off the body, carbohydrate and sugars are the main macronutrient that your gut bacteria can eat, the yeast can eat. So when I look at this meal, I'm seeing, okay, potatoes, apples, bread, can all be digested by the bacteria in this water kefir, turn it to be vitamins, turn it to nutrients. But the protein has to be broken down by the body's enzyme system. So a little more stressful if you put a lot of protein in the meal. Yeah, this is a big meal, so it's probably all I'm going to eat today, mainly because of how much stuff I have to do. I've never moved before in my life. And <laughs> like before, I didn't have time to have fun or do things I wanted to do. Now I'm like, all day I have to be doing something between unpacking this stuff and organizing things and cleaning. But hopefully in a week or two, it settles down a bit. I'm a little worried though, although I found a, a nice spot. You know, it is a little expensive and I think they're trying to sell it. So hopefully I can stay here until I have to go to PA or something. But because then if I have to move two times, I might actually disappear to a beach in Mexico. Maybe if I stick this out long enough, they'll send me like an Amish princess. Then I'll just throw a potato sack on her head and film OnlyFans or something. That seems like a pretty good fucking plan. So I had maybe half the chips and most of the sandwich. And I always go by my appetite. So when I feel like I don't want any more of these sandwich or chips, I just move on to dessert. Some of the best apples I've tried, Whole Foods is getting these organic Fuji apples from New Zealand. And most of them are pretty good. A few of them tasted like candy. It was crazy. Maybe we'll do an apartment tour next week. Although I don't have much to show you guys because I don't own furniture. Um, anyway, we're wrapping up dessert here with Tatomi's Very Vegan Cookies. And the reason for two names is because as soon as Tatomi sues me, I can just switch to Very Vegan Cookies. <laughs> anyway, these are minimally inflammatory chocolate chip cookies. Pretty good. Very good. As much as I like joking around, guys, every single product I make is because it was something I was making for myself and didn't exist in the supermarket. So, so depending on how fast your metabolism is and how active you are, that would dictate whether you want something like these vegan cookie bars or our organic banana rice crisp bar because when a food is super high quality, you will always be healthy. But if it's really, really dense, this is something that you could kind of use to put on healthy weight. Whereas um, if you, you're prone to putting on weight easily, then you want to stick to the more natural foods like um, the apples, the potato chips, the uh, organic rice crisp bars. Hey, if you're trying to gain healthy weight, adding a few of these to your diet every day is 100% by far the healthiest, healthy, healthiest possible way to ever do that because people that typically can't gain weight 
need to use very dense foods like this. Like even our organic banana rice crisp bar, it's dense, but it's very satiating, so you can't really eat a lot of it. This is kind of hyper palatable, it's very calorically dense, and uh, you know, four or five of these a day, a lot of calories. Now, honestly, I wasn't super hungry, but these cookie bars are so good. I'm, I'm eating fucking three of them. Now, what I'll do, which I haven't really showed you guys that much, is if I have a lot of refined white flour, like the bread, the cookies, I will take a vitamin B1 supplement because those specific carbohydrates can deplete B1 when they're digested. That's also why I take vitamin C and magnesium in the morning. Those are more nutrients that are required for processing large amounts of carbohydrates. Almost forgot. We have our mastic gum. I'll take about half a teaspoon. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Maybe if you continue to support my businesses, I can afford to buy uh, some furniture, not a $20 table from Target. But check out frankiesrangemeat.com where we have the fire roast ribeye and all high quality animal foods. And a lot of the stuff you guys saw today will be on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. Potato chips. Look towards the end of the week and early next week. And we're also going to restock the water kefir and water kefir grains. So as usual, if you guys could please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe so that youtube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos thanks for joining guys and i'll see you for tomorrow